Today I'm going to show you how to put a signature into your photo. Um, I'm going to make it an action so you can do it real quick and with pretty much any photo and it's really easy to do and you don't have to worry about doing all the legwork over and over again. What you do is you open up your signature and you're going to see um, I set mine to have a transparent. I just used a simple signature and um, what you're going to do though, the, the main difference is you want to save this as a PDF as opposed to a JPEG or a PSD. Uh, you can do it with any of those, but uh, PDF is the easiest uh, in terms of just in importing it, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but save it as a PDF, you're going to get a series of dialogues uh, that tell you that your settings will override. You're just going to hit OK, yes, yes. You don't have to change anything. Uh, yes. Um, now it's saved as a PDF. You're going to go ahead and you're going to close this. You don't need it to open now. Um, then open up your picture that you want to um, put your signature in and go to window actions or alt F9 if your actions aren't um, open and you don't use the windows um, so your actions are open you can see this create new um, it's right here it's a little like post-it note looking thing create new action you can name this whatever you want signature signature one watermark doesn't matter but as soon as you hit enter um, it's gonna start recording um, anything you do now in Photoshop is being recorded by your actions uh, so now we're gonna go over to file we're gonna go into over to place you're gonna find that PDF you just saved Hit okay uh, you're gonna see that it imported it put it right in the center you're gonna hit enter and uh, that's going to allow you to select other things. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hold control. We're going to click the background layer. So both layers are selected. You're going to see these free tra uh, these transformed. Uh, you're going to see these layer tools here, which uh, allow you to align things. Um, you pick the one that you want to align it to most often, which uh, in my case it's going to be the uh, bottom right. But you can do this for any side. You can do it top. You can do it left. You can do it top right, it doesn't matter. You can even align it in the center uh, by using the, the middle ones here. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to um, uh, just pick the top layer with the signature on it and uh, just click onto it. Make sure your select tool is on and uh, you're going to see how close it actually is to the side here and that can cause some problems when, it's cli uh, when you're printing. It can create clipping. So go ahead and select your select tool make sure you're on your right the correct layer and just drag it over a little bit and that's that's all there is to that um, when you hit the stop button it's gonna save it and uh, you can go ahead and you can hit see how it looks and then when you open up a new one for instance if we open up this picture here and we hit play you're gonna see it runs the entire thing for you puts it right there now if you're not happy with any of it, um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click your select tool and you can just you can move it around. It's not recording anything, so if we did it, if we hit play again, it's just going to add another one. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you need to make it bigger or smaller depending on the um, size of it, you go to edit and then you hit free transform and it'll give you that dialog box back. Uh, so you can make it bigger or smaller so certain photos are going to be larger some of them are going to be smaller depending on your crop and, and the camera and stuff and how you took them but that's the gist of that and other than that you just hit uh, when you're done you go ahead and hit merge down merge visible rather and uh, it'll merge them into one one file and then you can save that as your JPEG and that's it